Hey everyone, it's John. Welcome back to another video on the Financial Channel. And today, I'm going to be reviewing something that technically I've already reviewed, but my dang computer crapped out while I was filming it. In fact, as I hit the button to stop filming, it said error and it crashed. And the whole video I took deleted itself. But Nevertheless, we're going to do it again because I bought a whole box of these. What is these? These are none other than Twink Coin. What is Twink Coin? Well, it kind of sounds like it's a cryptocurrency, but that's not the case. It is not a cryptocurrency. It is a snack cake from Hostess. They look like this. And it's basically, they took a Twinkie but turned it into a disc shape. Call it a twin coin and that's it. Nothing else. That's all they did was they made this puck of a Twinkie. It has three holes in the bottom. In my previous video, I did something uh, a little bit interesting and special with it because I thought they were kind of plain. But that was so disappointing I'm not going to do it again because I didn't like it. But I will describe it to you after I taste it and tell you what I think about the twin coin. There is no real cryptocurrency twin coin. There's nothing attached to this by buying it. It's just a name. They are calling them limited edition. So this is all it is. Golden Twinkie sponge cake with white cream in the middle. What it tastes like? It's all it enough. It tastes like a Twinkie. Was the only reason I bought these because of the peculiar names? Absolutely. Quick point. So, what was the interesting thing I did? Well, last time I did a review with Twinkies, I made something called a Twinkie Leader Sandwich. Because so you take a Twinkie, you cut it a long ways, you put a hot dog in there, you squirt the meat and cheese on there, you dunk it in some milk, and that's a Twinkie Leader Sandwich. Which was actually very good, surprisingly. What I do with the Twink coin, since it's more of a sandwich shape, is I cut it lengthwise and I cut a piece of bologna and a piece of cheese that fit it. And I ate it like that, a bologna and cheese sandwich. Because bologna, it's kind of like hot dog. So how did the Twinkie bologna cheese sandwich taste? It was not good. The, uh, the texture of the bologna was weird going through it with the cake. The... I used American cheese instead of easy cheese. It wasn't, just wasn't the same. It wasn't that good. It was kind of disappointing. Um, that's why I'm not doing it again this one. But, Twink Coin. Hopefully that name gets some clicks. And what else am I going to do this video? I'm going to try this. Watermelon Sourhead Soda. First we're going to try the Watermelon Sourhead Candy itself. Zero percent juice. This one has malic acid, no citric acid at all. And the sourness is already gone. The watermelon one has always been one of the least lesser sournesses. We'll see how the soda tastes. If it's a similar watermelon flavor, if it's sour, it's good. That's good. It does have a good sourness to it. The flavor is different than the candy watermelon flavor. The yeah, candy watermelon doesn't really taste watermelon much at all. However, the soda drink it 
very tight. You can do like tongue smack. Tasty. I like it. As far as tasting like the candy, it doesn't taste better than the candy. The watermelon warrior candy was the sourness didn't really last very long and the flavor wasn't really watermelon -y. But I like that. So so far, the ones that were made with malic acid are actually tasty. But the lemon one that was made with citric acid was not as good. It kind of tasted fake ish. They're all fake. But that one tastes more chemically. These ones taste more enjoyable. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up to the twink coin. And we'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe. Bye.